Hello there, welcome to my channel. I'm right in the middle of my review process on two devices. That's the Big Me B7 and the Books Go 7 Color, which is in the second generation. Both seven inch devices, both e-readers and e-note takers. One key difference is that the Big Me device has cellular connectivity uh, and the other does not. But otherwise, they're pretty much direct competitors to each other. So this video is gonna focus on battery tests I've done on those two devices, and we'll compare them against other devices as well, in particular, the Kobo Libra Color, which I think is the closest competitor to these devices, which is also an e-reader and an e-note taker. Now let me talk real briefly about how you can interpret these results, and there's a couple ways that I think are useful. Obviously, the big question people wanna ask is how good is the battery life? Unfortunately, the answer is it depends, and it depends on how you use the device. So for example, one way that you can look at these tables is let's say, hypothetically, that you wanna focus almost exclusively on reading, and you're gonna read in dark environments, so you know you're gonna use a lot of front lighting. So what you can do is you can go to my tables and you can look at the percentage of battery drain for reading and the percentage of battery drain for front lighting, add them together. Now let's say that that number totaled 10%. So every hour you burn 10% of the battery. Well, that implies that you get 10 hours of battery life on that device. So that's one way that you can kind of do your own calculations to get a sense of what the battery drain might be for you. But of course that does involve quite a bit of effort. So there's a slightly, well, quite a bit easier way to look at the results. And that's to basically just compare it to how other devices perform. And so you can see, generally speaking, how one device performs against others and get a sense of whether that's a good battery or not relative to the competition. And that's probably how most people will engage this information. But regardless, both of those options are available to you. Okay, so having said that, why don't we dive into the results and then after we go through them, I'll give you my summary of what it all means. Okay, so here's the table that includes the Big Me B7, the Books Go 7 Color second generation, and then the Kobo Libra Color, and all those lines are in green to kind of highlight them. And then the other devices are all the other e-ink devices that I've tested that have seven or eight inch screens. Now my database of testing goes beyond these devices. They include a lot of 10 inch devices and even some 13 inch devices as well. And all the devices I've ever tested factor into either the average or the median, which is located at the bottom of the table. So that gives you a sense of how these devices perform against their peers and against other e-ink devices in general. You can see the battery size for each of the devices as well as the screen size. The first thing that we've measured is the power with the standby uh, with the screen off. And you might think of this as sleep mode. And this is a mode that's you know, synonymous with either pressing the power button or you close the cover and then the screen goes into kind of a, a screensaver mode uh, and it's draining battery, but it's draining battery at a lesser rate um, than if the screen is on. This is something I think of, when, particularly with e-readers, because with e-readers, you know, we, we read and then we go into a sleep mode um, if we expect to read maybe later in the day or in the next day. Um, so it's something where you don't need the screen to be on. It doesn't add any value, so you want to save battery. So the results for the B7 and the Go7 are as follows. The B7 did 0.31% drain per hour and the Go7 0.22%. Both are low numbers, but quite high relative to the average and the median and much higher than the Coba Libra Color, which was at 0.04%. By the way, if a particular device is the best, uh, has the best measurement I've ever seen uh, on these tests, it's highlighted in green. And if it's the worst, it's highlighted in red. Uh, but in this case, none of these seven or eight inch devices uh, qualified for either of those designations. So, so far, uh, we see the Books Go 7 uh, doing better than the Big Me B7, but neither device uh, can be proud of their performance. So the next category is Standby with the Screen On, and this is, I think, a little more synonymous with note-taking. And I say that because 
When I use a note taker, say at work or at home, a lot of times I'll leave the screen on so that when I'm ready to write, I just pick up the stylus and start writing. I don't have to press the power button or anything like that. It's on a state of readiness, in other words. But that does come with a lot more battery drain. And you can see that the average device with the screen off is 0.13% and it jumps up significantly on average to 1.6% in this particular mode. So how did these two devices fare? Uh, the Bigme B7 did terribly. Um, it's not the worst device I've ever measured. That's why it's not highlighted in red, but it's pretty bad and well off the average or median. The Go 7, however, did quite well. In fact, it even bested the Libra Color uh, in this particular mode. So it was a really good result for the Books de device, a pretty horrendous result for the Bigme device. Now the last category on the screen is Wi-Fi, and this is measuring Wi-Fi when it's on, is connected, but it's not actively downloading. So this is trying to measure, or really answer the question, I guess. What, what kind of battery drain do I get by just leaving Wi-Fi on? Um, and the answer in this particular case is uh, another high result, 6.3% on, on the Big Me device. But the Books Go continues to do really well at 0.7%. So an excellent showing for the Books Go, a terrible showing for the B7. The Libra Color, uh, just as a notation here, does not have a Wi-Fi measurement because uh, the Wi-Fi automatically shuts off and there's no way to leave it on. There's no toggle to do that, so it was not possible to run this test for that device. So now we're going to look at front lighting. And I do two measurements. I measure it with full cold, and then I measure it with half cold. Um, I don't do warm temperatures. I, historically, I've done those tests and found them to be pretty synonymous with the cold. Uh, sometimes it's a little worse on certain devices, sometimes a little better. But just for consistency, I just focus on the cold lighting. And we'll start with full cold, and that of course has more battery drain than half or less. And in this case, for these two devices, they were quite high, higher than any other device on this particular list, and much higher than the average and median. The B7 came in at 10.6%, and the Books Go uh, 7 set an unfortunate record at 187 So this is literally the worst device I've ever measured in terms of full cold front lighting. Now there is a caveat here, and the caveat is that what's the you know full cold for one device is different in terms of how bright it is on another. Um, and we saw that in the unboxing videos for these two devices, the B7 full cold was not nearly as bright as the Book 7 uh, Go 7 device. So um, that's something to keep in mind. You don't have to go to full front lighting, um, but if you did, the drain on the Books device would be quite significant. And those general results carry through to half lighting. Of course, the percentages go down, but you're still talking about results that are way above the median or average for all devices, and the Go 7 continues to set poor records in this area. Um, so the battery drain with front lighting on the Books Go 7 um, is particularly notable in a negative way. The B7 isn't good either, um, but it's just not quite as bad. Now these last two tests are more practical tests of how you would be using the device. The first is basically a reading test and the second a note-taking test. Now in the reading test, uh, I always try to go with the Kobo app if available, and if I can't, then I default to Kindle. So in the case of these two devices, Kobo was available, so that's what I used. And of course, we've got the Libra Color, which naturally uses Kobo's uh, reading system. Anyway, the devices came in at 4.6 and 2.3% respectively. Um, the Big Me B7, again, almost, well, over twice the median, almost twice the average. The Books Go 7 is hovering between the median and the average, so it does much better in this category but the Libra Color uh, is the best of the lot at 1.3%. So for reading, you're gonna get the least battery drain with the Libra Color, um, and then almost 1% higher battery drain with the Go 7, and then you double that to get to the Big Me B7. The last test is continuous note-taking, and this is a bit of a, a stress test, if you will, where I basically write for 10 minutes straight, absolutely no breaks, just writing, frantically. Um, and then I keep checking every 30 seconds the timer until the 
um, the battery indicator changes, and then I take my measurement at that time. So depending on the device, uh, the test can last just a little over uh, 10 minutes. It could even go above 15, you know, all dependent on the actual battery drain. In this particular case, um, the results were identical, which is pretty rare, both coming in at 10.9% and surprisingly both better than either the average or the median and better than the Libra color as well, although not by a significant margin. One major caveat to this particular test though, the B7 did not register all my strokes. Um, actually, it was quite maddening to write on this device. Uh, so each page has you know, areas where you know, whole words would be missing. Um, I would say probably as a percentage, it captured my strokes probably 80 to 90% of the time, um, but 10% of the time is a huge uh, deficiency. I've never seen a device like that before. So is this a fair reading if it doesn't capture 10% of my strokes? I mean, presumably that problem would be an advantage in terms of the battery measurement. So I don't, I don't think it's fair to say that the B7 tied the Go 7 because the Go 7 didn't have that issue. Um, so I put a big asterisk on this one, although that was technically my measurement at the end of the exercise. Okay. So what does that all mean? Where does that leave us? I think there's a few things that are quite clear. Now, just before I get into my summary of the three devices, it should be noted that while the BigMe B7 has the ability for cellular connectivity, I ran all the tests without the SIM card in place. So that was not a factor on the battery drain. In other words, it was an apples to apples comparison between the B7, the Books Go 7, and the Kobo Libra color. They were all essentially measured under the same circumstances. I should point out as well that I turn off all of the battery saving features on the device. So when you're using the device, know that there are features, for example, to put it into sleep mode after a period of time or to put it into a power off mode, which really saves battery. Um, now the disadvantage of the power off mode is that in order to use the device, you have to boot it up and depending on the device that could be 25 to 40 seconds of a delay until the device is ready. Uh, but just know that you can improve on the battery longevity by utilizing these battery saving features. But I turn them off again to kind of level the playing field. Okay, so having said all of that, clearly the BigMe device did absolutely terrible um, in these results. Uh, it, in fact, only the front lighting of the books device uh, made the BigMe device look even plausible. Um, but relative to the field, relative to the Kobo in particular, the BigMe device just wasn't competitive. And again, I didn't even put the SIM card in there. So the battery life you would imagine would be slightly worse in that instance. The terrible result for um, the BigMe device. The books device had some flaws, but I felt it was closer to the average. Obviously, the big red flag with the books device is around front lighting, but that at least is something that you could mitigate. You know, for example, when I do e-reading, I usually figure out what the lowest level of uh, front lighting is for me to read comfortably, and I use that setting. I use just enough to be functional, but no more because it's not necessary. Um, and so my battery drain when reading is going to be much less than what's on the tables because I'm not going to go to half or certainly not to full. So that's a, something that you can adjust. And outside of the front lighting readings, it did quite well. But overall, I think the Kobo Libra Color is the real winner here. Um, it didn't win every category, but I think it was uh, the best in four out of the seven categories. And actually one of them, it didn't have a measurement. So of the six categories measured, it won two thirds of them. That's a pretty good result. So in order, the Libra color kind of comes out the winner overall, the books device in the middle, and clearly the loser of this particular test is the Big Me B7. And again, not only did it do poorly on the results, but even the one result where it actually did kind of better in writing had a major caveat because it just missed all sorts of strokes um, as I'm writing, particularly on the left side of the screen. So those are my overall takeaways. Normally when I review devices, I'm ultimately walking away with kind of mixed results and I generally am pretty fair and or favorable, I should say, and say, well, you know, it's fine, battery life's fine, you know, a little stronger here, a little weaker here. 
But in this case, um, the big me is a clear loser uh, in this equation. Um, and that's going to stand out in the review uh, when I release in a few weeks down the line. So those are the results. If you have any questions or thoughts, pop those in the comments. Uh, again, I've got a number of videos on these two devices coming uh, for the rest of this month. So be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in those videos.